As the fall semester comes to an end, now is the time to start thinking about applying to become a resident assistant. It's really important that RAs um, have had some sort of experience in leadership. Um, so a lot of the times that's being involved in other organizations on campus prior or had some sort of leadership position um, in high school. You're, you're taking care of, in a way, of other people. Senior resident assistant Kira Eddy explains why she loves being an RA. I became an RA because obviously there's some really good benefits um, with becoming an RA. You get a free room, so you don't have to pay for your um, dorm, and then you get paid monthly, which is really nice, obviously, because we're all college students and we're trying to pay for stuff, so that's a really cool benefit. And I also wanted to get connections with the students. There are many responsibilities a resident assistant has to fulfill, like... Room checks for security reason, make sure that the room are clean or like there's no like um, security infractions, I would say. Um, toilet paper is the main one, <laughs> that's what I'm most known for right now. Opening, opening up the door for people when they get locked out. That's the main reason why my phone is always ringing. Some tips for a smooth application process would be... Um, I would say don't be afraid to like ask questions and talk to other RAs because we will be honest with you. Um, and then to get interest early, like at the beginning of the fall semester. Um, so if you are interested, make sure you get that going real quick and that way you can get in the system and you'll get emails that has all the information and then you can go to the informationals and then you'll be ready for the application process. Applications open November 1st and are due December 9th. If you have any more questions, you can always reach out to the area coordinator of Resident Life, Michael Stockard.